Hey everyone, and welcome to today's very exciting video. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and give the video a like, as I'm going to be posting other concert vlogs and videos in the future, so you won't want to miss it. In today's video, I'm going to be taking you through my concert experience at Dua Lipa's opening night of her future nostalgia tour here in Miami, Florida. I'll be showing you guys my entire journey at the concert and how I got front row through VOG footage and voicing over clips. But overall, you'll see what to really expect if you're attending a stop on the tour. You can also just watch because you wanna see how the tour is or you just love Dua Lipa. I mean, who doesn't? Now, without further ado, let's head out to the concert. Hey guys, I'm off to the venue right now. It is currently 1 p.m. and the doors open at 6.30 p.m. This is a way later start than I usually get. I tend to go to venues at around 9 a.m. or 10 a.m. or even sooner if I really like the artist when I have general admission. What general admission means is basically first come, first serve. The earlier you get there, the better spot you're going to get. The rule of thumb I have is if you're one of the first 10 people, you're usually guaranteed barricade. Barricade basically means you have no one in front of you and you're guaranteed an amazing spot to see your artist. Even though I'm getting a late start, I'm not really that worried. I actually reached out to somebody on Twitter an hour ago and they said there was about 20 people in line. So I'm hoping there's about 20 to 40 people in line. And I'll put the stage up right here. As you can see, it's not a regular stage. It just doesn't have one singular barricade. There's actually a catwalk and a platform. So I am hopeful that I will get a good spot, either barricade or second row, even though I am late fingers crossed. If I don't, it's all good. I'll still have an amazing time. So let's head out right now and see what we're working with. Let's go. After a little traffic due to it raining, I finally made it to the FTX arena. I was even super lucky and got a front row parking spot on the street. Now, although I was at the front entrance, general admission tickets have a different entrance than regular seated tickets to the left side of the arena. I've had GA at this arena before, so I knew right where to go, but I wanted to show you where it was in case you live in Miami and to show the rest of you that there most likely will be a separate GA entrance or line for your show. So make sure to walk around your arena, ask workers questions, and look out for signs like these. The sign stated you have to make sure your ticket says general admission and letting early fans, like me, know that the line won't open till 3 p.m. So I saw a small group of fans spread out near the entrance of the line and walked over to get a spot. They did something really smart and very common with GA by putting numbers on our hands to represent our place in line. That way we can go to the restroom, get food, etc. However, there were people who had early access, so they received the letters EE and then their number in line. Eventually though, someone from Dua's team came out and formed a separate line for the early entry. I learned once I talked to other fans that there are three different types of GA. The premier ones were the house party package, which had a meet and greet, but it got canceled unfortunately, and then the VIP with a blue hexagon lanyard. Both packages were let in first, in no order. Then there was a the regular GA, me. After the other packages were let in, we were able to start coming into the venue way earlier than expected. The doors were supposed to open at 6.30 and they let us into security at 5.55. They then lined us up in this hallway where we sat until they opened the actual venue doors early at 6.25 p.m. Then the Hunger Games began. <laughs> Appreciate it, not a problem. In terms of my reasoning behind picking this spot, I usually watch other concert videos from past tours to get a sense where I want to stand in the pit. However, it was opening night, so I had to make an educated guess and ended up choosing the platform at the front of the catwalk. No running! No running! After seeing the show, I know that the platform allows you to get super close to Dua, but only a couple songs to perform there, so you have to see a lot of the show from afar. While being towards the main stage allows you to see a majority of the concert closer, but you don't get super close moments. There is also the spot in between these, which is the catwalk. This spot not only allows you to have a good spot to see the main stage, but allows you to get close to Duo when she walks down the catwalk. However, you do get moments where you unfortunately see her back when she's performing. I brought my film camera to the show, so I'll go into detail about that in another video, and we'll even show you guys the photos I was able to get from this concert. 
I'm usually a big fan of openers, since they introduce me to people I usually don't know. Lolo, unfortunately, did not do it for me. She was super soft-spoken and her music also wasn't the best. Other people around me even agreed that, and I quote, her music was not it, sis. <laughs> However, Caroline was the complete opposite and turned things around. I even think I found a new artist I'll start listening to on a daily basis. She is super talented vocally. And had amazing contemporary dance moves to go with it. The show was actually supposed to start at 9. However, anticipation music and a sunset light across the stadium started at 9.15. If you wanna run away with me, I know a galaxy and I can take you for a ride. I had a premonition that we fell into a rhythm where the music don't stop for life. Glitter in the sky, glitter in my eyes, shining just the way you like. If you're feeling like you need a little bit of company, you met me at the perfect time. You want me, I want you, baby. My sugar boo, I'm meditating. The Milky Way, we're renegading. I got you, moonlight, you're my starlight. I need you all night. Come on, dance with me. I'm meditating. You. show was over, everyone was in such a great mood and even started to dance and sing. I then headed over to the merch stand since I didn't have the opportunity before the show. 
I ended up getting this Polaroid t-shirt and the line was not bad at all. So maybe wait till the end if the line is super long coming into the show. Hey guys, sorry I'm getting back to you right now. Um, there was a lot of other music in the venue that wasn't Dua Lipa, so I didn't really want to vlog that much in there. Plus there's a lot of people around, so I didn't want to be weird about it. But the concert just ended a few seconds ago. You can see people leaving right now. But this is my real authentic reaction from the whole entire concert before I debrief later on when it's a sit-down video. But all I have to say is, wow, that concert was phenomenal from start to beginning. There was no sad songs, no slow jams. It was all disco, all dance music, and I freaking love it. I was about to say that word, but I didn't. Oh my God, that was absolutely phenomenal. The production, everything. But I just wanted to let you guys know that that concert was probably in the top five. As someone who loves pop music and who loves dance music, that was extraordinary, one of a kind. Dua Lipa, you have my full appreciation and I have so much bigger love for her than I did before going into the concert like I usually always do, but this is way different. The energy that she brought, the dancing, the energy of the crowd, the music she chose, it was electric the whole entire concert. I am actually shook, I am out of breath, I am, that was fantastic, I'm almost at a loss for words, that was incredible, but I'm gonna get into it a little bit more in this debriefing review I'm about to do. I took some notes the whole entire time so I could get you guys the lowdowns and then also some tips and some tricks, so let's get into that right now. Goodbye, stadium, see you soon. Wow guys, what a show. Overall, I absolutely love concert and I would highly recommend it to anyone. Whether you know Dua's songs or not, you will have an amazing time, I promise. There was good encouragement of fan interaction from Dua, amazing dancers, especially the roller skating dancers. I thought it was super cool and different, very disco and it fit her aesthetic. Beautiful costumes and a series of costume changes throughout the whole show. Cool transitions during these changes that made the break go by super fast. Interesting and upgraded production, like Dua being lifted up during levitating. Color changing spears in the shape of a cube during Break My Heart. A prop lobster chilling behind Dua. And the list goes on. Some tips I'd give to you guys actually planning on attending a stop on our tour would be to go to the corner of the main stage in the catwalk because if I had to choose another spot again for general mission, that's where I'd go. I would also say that you don't have to go as early as you think to get a good spot for GA. There is plenty of barricade room in the second and third row and you get just as close to Dua. Plus, I have consistently heard online that there aren't as many people waiting that early. Finally, and this is the most important, dress up. I had no idea that everyone was gonna be dressed so amazing and looking fabulous also helps enhance the experience at the show even more. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be posting full videos from the show right here on this channel. Don't you worry. So as always, make sure to subscribe and like the video. Leave a comment down below what stop you're going to or what you thought of the show if you already went already. See you guys next week with another concert review. I'll even put a hidden picture in the outro as a hint of what artist show I went to. See ya.